50 from yesterday. With the numbers continuing to climb, Governor Whitmer ordering all schools to close now for the rest of the school year. Yeah, it is an announcement that we expected, but of course it's unwelcome news for students who are missing their friends, and a lot of them missing big milestones this year. Fox 17's Darren Cunningham is live after talking to West Michigan's largest school district and a local family, Darren. Yeah, Doug Janice, I don't think anyone would argue against how important education is. However, COVID-19, as we're seeing, it's nothing to play with. And everyone who I've spoken with, they agree with the governor's decision today. Today, I'm signing an executive order to close school buildings to students for the remainder of the calendar year, the school calendar year. Governor Gretchen Whitmer confirming what had been mere rumblings for the past couple of days, ending the current school year to continue social distancing to slow the spread of coronavirus. As much as we knew it was coming, it was still hard to hear that definitive answer. Danielle Campbell, who has four school-age children in Grand Rapids Public Schools, says she applauds the governor's decision to put safety first. But she admits it's still disappointing. She posted this photo to Facebook of her son, McKeon, and his dog, Max, illustrating what many children are likely feeling across the state. What are you going to miss out on, buddy? Greenville Village. Greenfield Village is a trip that they take in third grade that his brothers and sister have taken, and he knew this was the year, and so he didn't get to go this year, and he's sad to not see his friends, and goodbyes are hard, and we didn't really get to say goodbye to teachers. Teachers and their school districts having to make adjustments of their own because the governors also ordered each district develop an alternative learning plan to continue education. Uh, at this point, we're gearing up to make sure that we have our distance learning plan up and running uh, by the end of this month. John Helmholtz, spokesperson for Grand Rapids Public Schools, says this is uncharted territory and that there will be hiccups along the way. We're kind of building the plane as we're flying it. You know, this is as information comes in, we're going to make mid-course adjustments as we roll out the plan and then we get feedback of what's working, what's not working. We're going to make those mid-course adjustments. We're just going to ask for patience and some grace. Campbell says part of her challenge with distance learning is some of her kids are special needs and have individualized education programs or IEPs. But so, she says she um, is willing and ready to adjust. You know, we've got a good school district and they're already working on a plan. We've already gotten an email from the superintendent. And so I think we can do nothing but hope for the best and um, just be patient with our school st systems. They're working hard, even if we don't see it. And Helmholtz says that the district realizes there are high school seniors thousands of high school seniors who are disappointed that they will not have prom or their uh, graduation ceremony, but he says hopefully in the summer, possibly at a later date, uh, that they will hold some type of ceremony to recognize uh, their accomplishments and years of hard work. Now, we did receive uh, statements from other districts, including the Muskegon Area Intermediate School District. Uh, they sent over a statement that reads in part, quote, while this type of school cannot replace the rich face-to-face -face learning that takes place inside our classrooms. Our staff are ready for this challenge. Many students will not have access to the high-tech uh, learning devices and robust online connections uh, they enjoy within our schools. Our staff will do uh, what they can to reach these students as well. And so they also encourage parents to uh, continue to uh, encourage their students to engage in that learning. Live in Plainfield Township, Darren Cunningham, Fox 17 News. Well, we know it is a tough time for many. It's also a tough time for us here at Fox 17 because we are having to say goodbye to Darren Cunningham today, better known as the Fox 17 problem solver. Yes, we're going to put you through this one more time there. It's his <laughs> last day with Fox 17, <laughs> and you're heading home. You're going to work for Detroit, our sister station, WXYZ, over there, a phenomenal institution mm -hmm. in journalism. And, Darren, they've got a great, great person coming to work for them. We do yeah. want to take a look back at some of your best moments, though. No special effects here. I am kneeling in the middle of a pile of snow. This is exactly what police say not to do, leaving your garage door open unattended. Hey, this is getting violent. This is getting violent, guys. There's a fight. Things are being thrown. Can we ask you a few questions about what happened? Will you answer a couple of questions? Just for you ever cutting out Box 17 news? Yeah, just leave. We've got to stop meeting under these conditions. Yeah. Hey, John. Can I talk to you for a moment? Leave my property now!
My photographer Cody and I did meet with the governor this morning and she did suggest that uh, people stay inside and out of the elements and at this point that's exactly what we're doing. I sat in on a hearing today for House Bill 4982 which aims to reform the state unemployment agency. I've been covering this for a year. No, you helped you help you guys helped to, to, to unearth this. Yeah, and Darren, as you leave us, uh, you know, people see what we do on a daily basis. People see what you do on a daily mm -hmm. basis, but I just want everyone to understand how much you have actually done for this community and how much you've done for this state. You changed a state law. You have helped thousands of mm -hmm. people recover thousands of dollars. And so we thank you for that. As your coworkers, we thank you for that. Thank you, I appreciate it. And uh, I actually wrote a post on Facebook, uh, jokingly, half jokingly, that when I first started here, I don't think I was uh, physically able to grill this beard. So, so uh, you know, nine years, uh, nearly nine years, it would have been nine years in August. So I came here um, just green behind the ears, as they say, I actually started in Lansing, I was over there. And, uh, you know, I've received a lot of recognition over the years, um, just by way of being on television, but also with this Problem Solvers segment, I've received, and it helps. I mean, it, it helps for what we do in addition to any other skills and lots of prayer on my end that some of these outcomes, that these outcomes would be uh, positive. But, you know, I have a lot of great coworkers, a lot of people behind the scenes who don't get the credit that they deserve. Um, and there are a lot of people in the community who do amazing things every day that don't get any recognition. Some of them aren't looking for it, but uh, we're seeing it right now with this COVID-19, the doctors, the nurses, the respiratory ther therapists, the janitorial staff. I mean, there are people doing amazing things in this community every single day. Uh, and so shout out to them, shout out to them. I just happen to be on TV and, um, so yes, I am headed home. I'm headed to a station in Detroit that I grew up watching. Um, this has been a goal of mine for the past 15 years. Uh, it's always been in my mind. I stuck with it. I stayed the course, but I've enjoyed my time here. Um, so my mom and dad are proud. My siblings are proud. Uh, the first thing I would do is head home, physically head home to the place I grew up in the first 18 years of my life, but I'm gonna continue to do social distancing and um, continue to stay safe. On that note, I want everyone as we go through this uh, to continue to uh, be there for each other as, as safely as you possibly can. Check on your neighbors, everyone be safe. Uh, if you're a person of faith like I am, continue to be prayerful and uh, I, I believe we will get through this. So back to you. I was gonna tag out again. Live in Kent County, Darren Cunningham, Fox 17 News. One last well time done. there. Darren, we appreciate all your hard work. We're going to miss you. We're so happy yeah. that you get to go back to your home market. Yeah, if you want to learn anything about journalism, sit next yeah. to Darren Cunningham for four years. I'll tell you what, the kid knows what he's doing, and Detroit got a great reporter I know. today. Going to miss him. Well, unemployment claims across the country are.